morning. It's my wonderful honor, it's my delight uh, as Mayor of St. Augustine to welcome all of you, our invited honored guests here in the courtyard, but all of, the, all of you that are gathered here to this celebration, this remembrance of the transition when Florida left Spain to become an American territory 200 years ago today perhaps the second most important event in St. Augustine's history. And so it's indeed my, my great honor to uh, welcome each and every one of you here today. We have a number of distinguished, honored guests, and I'm going to do my very best to recognize you. I pray that you will forgive me if I stumble across the pronunciation of your name or if I inadvertently um, um, miss someone at this point in time. The good thing is I have a second bite of the apple. So after we're finished here, we're gonna to go to the National Guard Parade Ground and I get another microphone there. So I'll, I'll clean up any, uh, uh, any uh, runners I leave on base. We are honored to have our old friend re uh, return to St. Augustine, the Spanish ambassador to the United States, Santiago Cabanas. Mr. Ambassador, thank you so much. The Spanish Council General in Miami, uh, Jaime Licado. This is his first visit to St. Augustine, and we hope it's one of very many. We have two members of the Spanish uh, Armed Forces with us today, which is a great honor, uh, because this was a military event 200 years ago. Uh, the Spanish Defense Attaché to the Embassy in Washington, Admiral Fernando Poole. Welcome, Admiral. And he is here with his wife. The Spanish military attaché to the embassy, Alejandro Lazaro, Alvarecino Santa Cruz. Our Secretary of State from the state of Florida, Secretary of State Laura Lee. That we have a number of members of the Florida House of Representatives here in St. Augustine. Uh, recognized Florida Representative from District 24 and the Speaker designated the Florida House of Representatives, Representative Paul Renner. I don't know if Representative Renner is here. Our own Representative Cindy Stevenson. Cindy does a wonderful job. The President and CEO of Enterprise Florida, Jamal Saul. Thank you, sir. St. John's County Commissioner uh, and the Vice Chair of the Commission, our dear friend, Henry Dean. And likewise, St. John's County Commissioner from District 1, Christian Whitehurst. Thank you so much, Commissioner. My colleagues on the City Commission, the Vice Mayor and Commissioner Nancy Sykes-Klein. Commissioner Barbara Blonder. Commissioner Roxanne Horvath. And finally, at this point in time, I would also like to rep uh, recognize um, Colonel Gary Johnson, representing the Florida National Guard, and he serves as the Chief of Staff to the Adjutant General. I don't know if Colonel, uh, the Colonel is with us at this point, but we are very appreciative of their partnership in this event. I just want to leave you to share with you two thoughts about today's um, uh, ceremonies. We're here for two purposes. One is, is a time of remembrance and honoring a historical event that dramatically shaped not only this city, but our entire state and nation. And so it's appropriate on this 200th anniversary that we take just a minute to pause and reflect about what's occurring and what we're getting ready to celebrate. And the other is a celebration, a celebration of our friendship with Spain. And so those are our purposes here today. We take our history in St. Augustine very seriously. It is a part of our economic lifeblood. It is a part of our culture. But when you take it seriously, you must wrestle with it like Jacob and the angel. And you must look at it from different perspectives and dig deeply to understand its meaning. And we are blessed with a rich and a complex history. We know that when the Spaniards came 455 years ago, that they found a vibrant indigenous community and they interacted with that community and, and, and worked to find a way to live in a shared space 
for their entire time here in St. Augustine. We have a rich colonial period that is not only Spanish but also English. We have an American period that is still lasting, uh, of course, but for a period of time tragically broken during the Civil War when Florida left the Union for at least St. Augustine a mere 11 months. We have this wonderful Gilded Age history that's particularly left to us with our architecture, and we have a rich, rich, and deep civil rights history that extends not only from the 1960s, but well before that with the founding of Fort Mose, the first free black community in what is now the United States. And so this is all a part of our deep history. We're here to recognize and to celebrate a small, albeit very, very important event. I'm proud to say that in November I'll be 65 years old. That feels like a, a big milestone. And if I were 65, in 1821, I would have been born under a flat Spanish flag. I would have been seven years old when the British came. I would have been a 27-year-old man when the Spanish came back at the end of the British period. And I would have been a 65-year-old man when we became an American territory. That is a transition in one man's lifetime between three different nations. A tumultuous, exciting, frightening time in our cities, in our state's history. We are here to celebrate as well. I hope that you got to catch a glimpse of the large Spanish flag that flies on City Hall. That is an honor and recognition of our deep relationships with the country of Spain, with our sister cities, Avalis and Menorca, and we are proud to fly that flag on appropriate occasions to symbolize that relationship. We have deep economic and political connections. Uh, we are allies in world affairs. We are members of, of NATO together with Spain. We share many common religious traditions, many common cultural traditions, but perhaps more important, importantly, we share many deep personal relationships. For that, we're very grateful. Our relationship with Spain makes us a stronger, a better community, and a better state. And so on behalf of the entire city of St. Augustine, it's my pleasure to welcome you as we honor this transition and we celebrate our relationship with Spain. At this point, it's my pleasure to introduce to you Padre Medina. On 3 March 1821, Congress passed an act implementing the treaty and on 10 March 1821, President James Monroe appointed Major General Andrew Jackson as Governor of La Florida. On 12 April 1821, Major General Jackson appointed Colonel Robert Butler as the Commissioner for East Florida. As for Spanish East Florida, its Governor Jose Coppinger received his orders from the Captain General of Cuba on 7 June 1821, appointing him the Spanish Commissioner and to start the talks with the United States Commissioner for the transfer of East Florida and the evacuation of the Spanish citizens and troops. Due to the distance between Spain and La Florida, many of the required official documents did not arrive on East Florida until 10 June 1821. Colonel Robert Butler, distinguished guest, Floridians, I welcome you to St. Augustine to witness this important day in our shared history. On this 10th of July, the possession of this province is transferred to the Commissioner of the United States, legitimately authorized to receive it, Colonel Don Robert Butler. The officials and troops of the Kingdom of Spain will leave the territory as agreed by a treaty celebrated in Washington on 22nd of February 1819 and by royal decree of 24th of October of the previous year, as well as other orders with, with which I find myself as Commissioner of the Delivery. Floridians, 
as your land transitions from one great nation to another. And on behalf of President Monroe and the people of the United States, I welcome all of you as the newest citizens of this American Republic and look forward to the day when another star will be added to our glorious flag. Colonel Coppinger, thank you for your friendship and all the courtesies rendered during my time here. I will always remember the special bond that has been established between us. Shall we proceed to the official signing? Absolutely. Now Colonel Robert Butler and Colonel Jose Coppinger will sign the act of transfer of East Florida from Spain to the United States. Both colonels will seal the transfer with a toast to the President of the United States and the King of Spain. about this day is that we were left in the historical record a very detailed description of the events that occurred. The first event occurred here which we have attempted to uh, recreate and for which we're very very grateful for all of our uh, reenactors for helping us with. The second event uh, originally occurred on the Fort Greene but because of COVID restrictions we're now going to go to the parade field at the Florida National Guard. Everyone is welcome to join us. There will be an additional ceremony there. Um, and so at this point, thank you. And uh, the carriages will be arriving shortly. Thank you very much. Thank you. 